Neve Algar. Barry Kurgan. Good to be with you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You too. And thank you for this film. Um, a very tasking film to watch and probably one to make as well. It, uh, it, it's quite the emotional roller coaster ride. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's... When you see it on a script, though, is. Do you get that feeling from the moment you read it? Um, yeah, Joe Morta is. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking to work with him again on something. Um, he, has, he, he has this ability to. Do you know, his father's from Mayo, actually. Really? Um, so maybe it's that whole Irish thing. But, <laughs> you know, he captures everything in it. Um, and when I say that, like, just to. It's like that. It's almost like the you know the Mark McDonough kind of thing, like it just the hu- like the humor and every like he just I don't know he when I read it I was just blown away. But there was a, it, it, it it was like you say like when it jumps off the page, but there was a you didn't want to stop reading it, so from the get go you know exactly what mm-hmm. the pacing of the film is going to be, and then you're very much set up with the characters, and once you're set within the characters, you know exactly what what way the world is going to be and where they lie in it, um, but yeah. It was, yeah, just, I, just, I, couldn't amazing, put the, yeah. I couldn't put the script down when I first read it. How do you sum it up for the people that uh, haven't yet seen it, like myself? Go see Cam with the horses. It's brilliant. <laughs> That's it, it's brilliant. But it's a story that we haven't sort of seen before, really, as well. Yeah. It's quite unique. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, it does. And I, I said this already. Um, it, it, it captures the West of Ireland in a different different way, um, you know, which is probably not very welcome and for people to to <laughs> invite them to go away yeah. and stuff like that but it does kind of it shows the edgier side of it and you know there's an edgier side to everything I'm told I was a violent child most people stay on the right side of the Devers family this is not loyalty it's servitude now, I know there's a co- weird sort of coincidence between the two of you. Yep. Uh, you're in a show about wolves. Yeah. I know you like to... Uh, you sponsor wolves or you adopt Barry wolves? Barry just loves wolves. I love wolves. My second name means wolf cub. Yes. If you look at... If you, Barry's got very wolf-like features. I think it's the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, yeah, I've, I'm a huge... Uh, you do love A them. huge fanatic with wolves. And, and, and there's this place in LA called The Wolf Connection, and they deal with... Deal with kids in care and deal with kids from um, difficult backgrounds and working class areas and, and, and with the wolves as well, they rehabilitate wolves and it's kind of like they help each other, you know, come out of their own shell. And, um, so I got involved in that and, you know, I've, I've, I'm just a big, you know, big lover of them. Yeah, mm. that's good to hear. I loved you in The Last Rite. Thank you very much. Um, and that also was kind of an advertisement for Ireland in a... It was like a road movie. We yeah, go from but it was one a great end of Ireland to the other. Yeah, we're taking a lot from of sides. To the other. What's next after Calm With Horses comes out for you? Uh, well, Raised by Wolves uh, is going to be out sometime this year. <laughs> I have no idea. But I've just... That's yeah, the Ridley Scott one. That's the Ridley Scott one, very, yeah. Um, and that's his debut TV series, which is really weird for to say about Ridley Scott because he's... Done everything. Around, he's, <laughs> done he's done never everything. done TV. That's never crazy. Done, this is his first one. So it's shot... We, it, it, each kind of episode feels like a film. Okay. Yeah, because so be... it was... Well, it's... You know, he's like the father of sci-fi, you mm-hmm. know. He brought that to the that to the forefront, to the screen of, of, of a... You know, he created, like, strong female characters, but in the sense of... The, the, they're not dependent of the males in the story. They exist on their own. Um, Is there any wolves in it? There's... No? <laughs> oh, no. No? No, but it's play on words. But it is... Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's a great name. I love it. <laughs> There's wolves in it, mate. There's loads in it. <laughs> you almost had him. Everyone has you a wolf. <laughs> you almost had the number one fan. And Barry, the last time we saw you was on a smaller screen. You worked, uh, you lived with a good friend of mine, Lucy Kennedy. Oh, yeah, Lucy, um, yeah. We were exposed to what it was like living with you, but you've got to tell me some secrets about Lucy. What was she like? Uh, she's, a, she's a real mummy, Lucy. Um, did she yeah. really do your washing? She did, yeah. <laughs> was that okay <laughs> only, to let a stranger do your washing? I was all right, I was like, go well, on, walk away. <laughs> um, no, we did great. There was a, it was like a tree, uh, it was a tree for a person crew. Um, and they just came up and we had the best crack ever, like, you know. How long did she live with you? Three or four days and we just really? grabbed little bits and pieces. But she was very respectful of... Uh, Come on, um, give me something dirty. Like, did on. she... <laughs> was she naughty? She must have been a naughty girl. You know, girl. There's, there's no dirt on what? her, honestly. Like, That's she's... a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy. 
Are you in character now? You Good look thing. kind of evil, but you're not. That's great. I have an important call now. I'm gonna listen. Am I allowed to? Okay. No, okay. you're not. Before every audition, I like, say a little prayer. What a surreal moment. Like, Nicole Kidman is kissing my feet. What do, you know, and I'm tied to a chair as well. Do you know what a washing machine looks like? I'm getting there, you know, it's slowly but surely. We do need to get the cooking lessons. She was around when you got that phone call for that she big She was, gig. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, was she? Yeah. Whew. I went upstairs to do the kind of Skype, like, you know, and then I got the word that I've I kind of had it. And, yeah, she was trying to listen in on it as well. <laughs> like, I was like, nope, I can't. <laughs> I can't let you do that. Um, yeah, she was there when I got the, got the so word. So has that project begun yet, that part of your life? Yeah, it's finished and everything. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. done. Can you up. talk about it? Not really, <laughs> but I can say it's, you know, it's uh, it's... It's just, yeah. This is the Marvel film we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I mean, Chloe Zhao is, have you seen The Reuter? No. You know, she basically brings a, you know, she's, she's got this. Uh, she do The Reuter? Yeah. About the, uh, the Cowboys. The Cowboys, oh, yeah. Oh, bloody yeah. hell, yeah. It's I great. mean, and they were all non-actors, and so, mm. like, just, just picture what she's going to do with this movie then. Okay. Um, nice. Yeah. Incredible. And how do you think the Irish film industry is with films like this coming out, there seems to be a lot of good Irish films and you guys are kind of poster boy and poster girl for a lot of what this, Would you like, oh, I mean, if you, I'm giving you that title. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think Ireland has always been a country of stories. You know, I mean, we, it, we're... We, the best stories. With the best stories. World. Daniel Day-Lewis, best Day storyteller in the world. Um, and I think that, you know, the locations that we have and the, the talent and the, the writers that we have here, it's there's an abundance of it and I think you're seeing that now across the pond like you know you've got Sharon Horgan Ashley Lee in, in the UK just making massive waves so I think it's just continue the support and because it's funny because it's like people were someone was saying to me about the idea that cinema is not what it used to be and that like not many people are going to cinema because they're watching it on their screen mm -hmm. but like this film is a when you watch it, it should be. It deserves to be seen in, in oh, a yeah. cinema. Just, oh, and no distractions yeah. as well. That was like Black Mass yeah. did the soundtrack, and it's you could like you could watch it with your eyes closed. Just and it, the way in which they build tension with the music and mm -hmm. the sound design is just. It's I can't wait to see it. I mean, like, every film deserves to be watched on the. You yeah. know when people say this, I have seen this film. Yeah, we're on the plane. I'm like, <laughs> why do you <laughs> why? You can't see it. Then you're like, you know, like it's like, I don't mm. know. And like they've, they've got these new cinemas as well where they serve food during it. Yes. And I'm like, that's, oh, I hate that. It's nice <laughs> when you can get it at the start, when you get a drink. Yeah, you go in like with like you, a night, like you a get this stuff of like, you know, like, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, that happened to me. I went to see A Quiet Place. And so the lad next oh, to me were. ordered nachos, but the, to be honest, he didn't. He didn't touch one. <laughs> he was because everyone would have been like, shut up. Yeah, the crunch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't even breathe during that. <laughs> Guys, thank you for this film. Like I said, a difficult watch, but so worthy uh, thank a you. watch. And Thanks, a great man. Irish film and a great performance from you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, man.